to HCS Connects. I'm Kelly Gorrell with Hampton City Schools. Today we have two special guests with us, our student reps for our HCS School Board. So welcome to the both of you. Thanks for having we me. We have Jeremy Taylor, who you are our student rep for the 18-19 school year, and Xavier Williams is our alternate rep. However, you were the rep last year. Yes, it was. Excellent. So tell me a little bit about Jeremy and Xavier. Um, I, so I was uh, born and raised in Hampton. Uh, I have attended Hampton City Schools um, all my life. Uh, I am currently at Hampton High School. I'm in the IB program there. Uh, I'm a rising junior. Um, I've always tried to, I've always tried to uh, engage in leadership opportunities and uh, anything that I can, anything that uh, uh, makes me uh, stand out um, from others. Uh, not only so that I can develop experience, but so I can serve um, others. Um, I want to enter into politics, and so I'm just trying to get into any opportunity I can to help me do that and be more effective in uh, doing that. Excellent. Well, obviously, student rep um, is a huge extracurricular piece, um, and you've got a heavy course load being an IB student at Hampton. Um, are any other activities that you're involved in, after school clubs, sports, uh, music? Absolutely. So I am. Uh, I will be in two honor societies uh, in the coming years: uh, the Math Honor Society and the uh, Social Studies Honor Society, as well as uh, I will be uh, starting my own club um, at Hampton High uh, that uh, centers around politics and political engagement. Uh, and I coached uh, debate and did the debate for two years in my uh, ninth grade year and 10th grade year. Um, and I'm definitely gonna be doing uh, volunteer uh, activities with being in the IB program, so I'm looking forward to all of those things. And when do you have time to sleep? <laughs> <laughs> That's quite, quite the load. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so Xavier, I know that yours is pretty comparable, so tell us a little bit about you. Well, Jeremy and I have a lot in common, and I'm both also raised and uh, I've attended Hampton City Schools all of my life. I'm so glad to be a rising senior at the Hampton High School, home of the Crabbers. Um, it was an honor to be student representative last year, and it gave me a lot of insight and wanted to do it once again. But uh, along with being student rep, I also have other positions within the city of Hampton, serving on the Neighborhood Commission and Youth Commission. I also had the opportunity to serve with the Hampton Council PTA. Uh, but then at school, just like Jeremy, we're both in the same honor society, the Rowe Kappa History Honor Society, and I just got inducted into our uh, National Honor Society and being a math honor society member, so a lot going on, not a lot of time to sleep, and also well, and you being also a do marching band, correct? Marching band, drum major marching band for the second year, and so uh, when do I sleep? I don't really get much, but I keep on going and hoping that I continue to make If I combine brand. both of you, I don't even think that two of you combined are probably getting the eight to ten recommended hours. Oh no, <laughs> I don't remember the last time I had eight hours of sleep. <laughs> you all are both very busy. So looking into this year, tell us what is the role of that student representative for the school board? I think the role really is about, uh, the role involves serving. Uh, we represent uh, 19,000 plus uh, students in the Hampton City Schools Division. And our job is to give them a voice and to make their concerns um, heard and uh, uh, make sure that they are acknowledged uh, when uh, the board is making important decisions, but also to try to positively impact their experience uh, in the Hampton City Schools Division. Um, I have some things that I want to try to accomplish this year with the help of Xavier. Uh, and hopefully with the support of the board um, because I think uh, that uh, it is our job to try to improve uh, these students' lives and positively impact the community as a whole as well. Excellent. And Xavier, you had that opportunity last year and you're coming back as the alternate um, student representative. So the role of the, the student rep, what do you feel that is? 
you know, and, and Natalie and I, I was excited to serve with Natalie last year. And I think when Natalie and I met early in the beginning with uh, the former chairman of the school board, Mr. Samuels, Natalie and I really focused on making the role of the student rep very visible, uh, which then would set Jeremy and I up on a really good pedestal. Uh, and so Natalie and I wanted to make sure that, you know, we're visible at the Citizen of the Month banquets and the academic award banquets and getting into the school and actually Natalie and I were very fortunate to actually um, be able to sit on stage for the graduations last year and you know a lot of people say well why do you want to be on stage I think it's kind of you know a big moment when you get to see the students that you do represent and I think that might you know be a small thing but it, it's kind of nice to see the graduation from a board member perch um, point of view or a student rep point of view, but to be able to see their accomplishment and walk across the stage, that's kind of a bigger moment than just sitting in the audience. So, Well, and you all did a nice job being visible, not just going to graduations or different meetings or celebrations, but you also had a presence on social media. <laughs> um, you have a Twitter account or Twitter handle for your student rep um, piece, which obviously Jeremy and you will keep going this year. One in particular that I would like to touch on, um, and maybe you're going to pass the torch down to Jeremy this year. Um, we had an inclement snow day. <laughs> Tell us about that inclement snow day, Xavier. What did you do? You know, it was so, I was so bored at home and I'm like, man, what can I do? And so literally I go in my room, I put on my trench coat, I'm in the back of my backyard and I'm like, okay, mom, I need you to come and stand outside and record me. And so I made this really nice little video and I sent it to Natalie and I'm like, Natalie, should I post this? Like, is it like, okay? And she was like, yeah, it's fine, post it. So literally it's just a video of me outside, you know, letting everybody know it's snowing outside, but you know, hey, sending in your good videos and, it was really fun, and I really was going to post a snow fight with me and my brother, but I was like, okay, let's not do that. So it, it was just fun. I was bored at home, and I was like, well, let me just make use of my time, put a funny video out there. Plus, I saw Newport News posting a lot of stuff, and I was like, man, we're not doing anything. Let me put something funny out there. So it was real nice. So, Jeremy, you may have to um, step up to that I, this I, year. Um, That's if we get some I, snow days. I'm <laughs> hoping no snow days. Yeah, I'm hoping no snow days. Xavier's on senioritis right now, so he uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> he's hoping for snow days. But um, So if that happens, you may have to get the word out there and help us. Oh, uh, so tell us a little bit about, you know, I know that you had had some plans as far as social media this year. You had talked about with the school board. What is uh, some of your goals to stay connected with your peers? So uh, one of the things that, I know a few things that I want to do. Uh, one of them is to uh, try to uh, improve the current policy of the school board involving absences and tardies. I want to make it fair for students, so I'm going to see what the board can do about that. I want to make sure that uh, the um, adults in the lives of our students are involved in our students' education because I think that's very important and, and for a lot of students it's uh, critical to their uh, success. So I want to make sure that, uh, I want to see if there uh, can possibly be uh, so sort of some sort of uh, mentorship program that can be implemented in our uh, uh, schools, particularly in our high schools, to um, sort of uh, improve the uh, success of our students in that regard. And um, you know, other than that, I just want to make sure that I'm visible. Um, at, like as Xavier was talking about, I want to make sure that uh, students can feel comfortable uh, contacting me. Uh, anything like that so that uh, there can be um, so their connection. Heard, absolutely, that connection absolutely because it's very important I want to I want to be one with the students that I represent and I want them to feel as if they can come to me or Xavier with any concerns that they may have in hopes that they will be fairly uh, and effectively represented excellent so um, Xavier, again, going back to your experience from last year, what were some ways that your peers did stay connected with you? How did they contact you? Well, I think uh, social media was a big thing. Uh, Twitter was very, it was a good avenue for people to understand the information that came out with the inclement weather. And what uh, is that, that Twitter handle? It's at HCS underscore student reps. Perfect. There you go. Um, and so it was a good avenue for the information to get out and something that Natalie and I just wanted to make sure we did was to make sure we didn't make it 
um, so political or, you know, so uptight, I guess you would say, more of just something a little bit more to the teenage level or to the middle school level for those people that have Twitter. That way they can see the good things that are happening on school division. Uh, but something that I want to improve based upon what Natalie and I did from last year, and hopefully Jeremy and I can continue it, um, is that we were very focused with high school, with the great academies coming up, and uh, the good work that Dr. Woods and Dr. Smith are doing with the academies. Uh, this year, I actually want to work more with the elementary schoolers this year. And so uh, I, I've, I was a big advocate uh, for the high school last year. This year, I kind of want to step it down more um, a grade level and go down to the elementary schoolers. So trying to figure out what ways can we make sure we get that information to them, and even to see how we can make our elementary schools a little bit better um, because all of our schools are great. We're all doing great things at every level um, in education here at Hampton Schools, but what can we do for our elementary schoolers? So that's what I want to focus on. Because it's sometimes harder for them to have a voice. Yeah. Um, high schoolers have an easier access. Yeah, of course. And so just trying to figure out what their minds are saying at that young age. Yeah. So you all have been pretty busy, though, so far in your roles as student representative for that school board position. Tell me some of the things that you've already attended this summer um, in that role. So uh, I've been to the uh, summer commencement ceremony um, for the finishing graduates of 2018. That was a wonderful, uh, wonderful celebration. I was glad to attend with Xavier and the uh, school board members. Uh, I stopped by today uh, uh, by my school, Hampton High School. Uh, for the summer bridge program there and got to meet some wonderful freshman uh, students there and um, I definitely want to attend some of the games that we have coming up uh, in We're late August Ab absolutely and so those are just some of the things that I've done thus far excellent so Xavier you were at Phoebus High School for the summer commencement nice. ceremony anything else you've already hit the ground running with well, the Well, Jeremy and I have done basically the same thing so far, going to the commencement, and I also stopped by Hampton, uh, I think shortly right after uh, <laughs> Jeremy left, but uh, like I said, you know, it's gonna be a great year, and being drum major at Hampton, kind of our, I already go to the majority of the Hampton games, so probably gonna branch out and go see a couple Phoebus games, Kikatan games, Bethel games, and actually I'm gonna try to go and see a couple of the field hockey games that was the sport I wanted to go see last year but with conflicting with practice and football games so I'm going to try to go That's see a fun that. game to watch yeah I have a lot of friends at Hampton that play field hockey so field hockey and then I'm going to try to go and see a little bit more of like track this year at Boo Williams so mm, it's a little fun. different you know try to learn too <laughs> in, in in between all the other things you're already doing yeah so I'll, we'll squeeze it in there somewhere on the schedule but I want to go and see some new things what? all right so as we're wrapping up and we just talked about like your roles and responsibilities as a student representative to the school board and the things you've already um, been accomplished already this summer. I know that there's more than just student rep. So tell me what else you've done this summer because you both have had exciting summers. Absolutely. So I attended the uh, residential governor's school for humanities and visual performing arts uh, at Radford University. Uh, I was there from the end of, Ju the end of June to uh, late July. Um, and that was just a wonderful experience. I got to meet a lot of wonderful students from across the Commonwealth, uh, very talented and intelligent students. And so that I was just, I was honored to have been a part of that. Uh, I have worked also uh, with the Summer Youth Employment Program uh, at Healthy Families. And so that's been a wonderful experience. I've enjoyed my coworkers and working with uh, the children that I get to see every day. Um, so they've got some great programs. We're actually going to have them on the show in the absolutely. next few weeks. Wonderful. Yeah, so that's, that's just what I've been doing. And then trying to uh, finish that summer reading <laughs> assignment that I have summer to do uh, for uh, my Eng English class coming up. So I've been busy. You've been busy. And Xavier, you had a pretty uh, exciting summer as well. Tell us about that. Very exciting summer. So uh, this year I had the privilege to be able to go with three of my friends from Hampton and actually another student from Kikatan uh, to the Virginia Boys State this year. Um, and actually I was elected governor of the 76th session this year and so it was really big to, thank you so much, really big to um, be governor and to actually speak about everybody that went. Um, actually I was elected governor, my best friend Jordan Mathias was selected as the um, president pro temp from Hampton. 
another friend of mine was selected to be the editor of the newspaper. Wow. Um, so it, it was a lot of fun, you know, to go there. We were all shy in the beginning, but then, you know, we all kind of... You shy? I know. Can you believe it? <laughs> it was a lot of people there. And so it's like, at first, I didn't know if I really wanted to go for governor. I was just going to go for, like, senator or something. But my roommate told me, he was part of the clergy there. So he was like, look, man, you can do it. You can do it. I believe in you. And so I went out there and got elected and it was a lot of fun and then also I got to attend the uh, YADAP conference that was at Longwood University and oh, had the pleasure to Longwood it, it was a real beautiful campus too it is I had the opportunity to go there with students from Bethel um, and two teams from Phoebus and then the team that I went with from Hampton and actually Hampton City Schools represented fairly well bringing home uh, two $250 mini grants uh, one from Hampton and then one from the Phoebus team and so um, at this whole summer has been nothing more than just putting the name for Hampton City Schools, making sure that, you know, we always go out and represent well and say, hey, I'm from Hampton City Schools and I'm doing great things, you know. So. Well, we've had a lot of great representation. Yeah. So we thank you both. And we look forward to working with you this year and all the exciting things to come. And we'll definitely see you at uh, two, two school board meetings a, a month and, yeah. and the multiple ones we have in March during budget season. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you both for being here today. Thank we truly you. appreciate it. Thank you. And thank you for joining us on HCS Connects. In the meantime, stay connected with us through Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, our YouTube channel, as well as Peg TV. Thanks and have a great day.